When I first started Blender, something that really confused me were plants. I didn't understand how I can make them look realistic. In this video, I'm going to be going through how to make realistic plants in Blender and Photoshop. But before we start, we need to go outside to the park or to a backyard and take some photos of some leaves and grass blades and all sorts of plant textures. All right, so I'm outside right now in my backyard and I'm going to take some pictures of some plants and right now it's really nice because it's shady, so this is the perfect time to take some pictures because you don't want it sunny or else you get like shadows and that's really hard to cut out, so yeah, let's do it. Right here, you can see we have some bark and this is really nice. It's like mossy and I can make two different textures here because I've got the regular bark and I've got bark that's covered in moss and that could be really useful when you're creating a texture. So right here, there's a bunch of leaves, as you can see, and it, there's some thorns too, but you can use some of these leaves. And you're also gonna want to make sure you remember what these look like, that'll make it look more realistic, as if you keep references. All right, so it's really simple. All you really have to do is take a leaf, and usually you put it on a white background, but I'm just gonna use my hand. And here, let me show you. So you take a leaf like this, and I can just put it on my hand like this. And then take a picture of it with like a phone or a camera. And yeah, you're gonna wanna make sure it's not too sunny, it's kinda shady, and that should give you the perfect texture. And you can do that with all kinds of leaves. So another thing you can do is also take a picture of the ground if it's shady, and then you have like a ground texture and it's really useful. Stuff like this, it's really good. You just pick off this part of the leaf and then you can take a picture of it. So another thing you can do for textures is you can use grass. So just pick a few pieces of grass and lay them out on a shady area and then take a picture of it. So now that I had all of my images, I put them into Photoshop. So using the quick selection tool in Photoshop, I'm just gonna select the leaves. Just trying to make sure I select all the leaves. Next step is removing the background. So you go down to the bottom and where it has this little rectangle button with a circle, you press that. So just going around and making sure you erase all the things that the quick selection tool missed. This is really easy and simple. You just take a eraser brush and maybe crank down the size and start erasing. Now you have a leaf texture that you can use in Blender. Next, I'm going to take the dirt texture we made and make it into a square image and kind of position an area that I think will look best tiled. Next, select it all and then go up to image and crop. Next, we're gonna make it our background. So go into the layer and then background from layer. Next, we're gonna have to check the canvas size. Press image and then go down to canvas size. Next, we're gonna switch it over from inches to pixels on both the width and the height. So just remember the number. So next, you're gonna go filter, other, and then offset. For horizontal, you're just gonna use the canvas size and cut it in half. So for me, that would be 1,500. You're gonna put that into horizontal as well. Now all we have are corners. So we've got a bunch of edges and corners everywhere, and we want to make this tileable. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the clone brush and we're just gonna clone different areas by pressing Alt and then draw them in on different parts. So here you can see me doing that. You're gonna wanna make sure you get a random look so that it's not just repeated. So that's really important to know and make sure that there's no more edges. Another thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure it looks believable. So picking an area with Alt and then drawing that area in, in a different spot. So now we're gonna adjust the brightness and shadows. So go to image and then adjustments and near the bottom there's one called shadows and highlights. I like to crank up the highlights and keep the shadows like kind of where it is. But now that we're done with that, we have two images we can use and put into Blender. And here we go. So before we start, I'm gonna be using the Node Wrangler add-on. So if you don't have that enabled, you're gonna wanna make sure you enable it. All you do is you go to edit, preferences and then go to add-ons and then search node wrangler and check that off. So all you're gonna do in the node setup is add in an image texture and import that image texture that you made. So selecting your image texture and pressing control T, it'll give you the texture coordinate 
and a mapping node, which is really useful. And I'm just gonna crank up the mapping node so you can see what the texture looks like tiled. Next, all I'm gonna add in is a color ramp. And I'm gonna put it down there, and then I'm gonna duplicate it with Shift D. Next, all I'm gonna do is add it in the displacement and plug it into the displacement up in material output. Put the height into the second color ramp, and then add in a subdivision surface modifier. Then switching to cycles, switch from supported to experimental. Change your subdivision surface modifier to adaptive subdivision. Then down in your material settings, you can enable displacement and bump. And it's gonna look like a porcupine thing. All you're gonna do is crank down the scale of your displacement. And now you have like rocks and pebbles and all sorts of things popping out of your image. And next I'm gonna control shift and click on my color ramp. Bring in the black and the white values. And then I'm gonna take down the black value to make it like a lighter color. Next for the leaf texture, all I really did for this one was I replaced the image texture I used for the ground and switched it to the leaf texture and it worked perfectly. As you can see here, the leaves are interacting with the shadows and it looks really awesome. All that I did really add in is a mix shader node and a transparent node and I just mixed them together with the image texture with a color ramp and adjusted the values a little bit so that the light values could be the leaf and then the dark values could be the transparent. Next, I just modeled a quick leaf. I just UV unwrapped it and aligned it with my leaf. I just added in some loop cuts and moved them around to make it look like a leaf shape. And then I right clicked and pressed Shade Smooth. You can scatter those leaves on a tree or a bush, and you can create really cool landscapes with some of these textures you've made. Like for this one, I used a grass texture that I made with a geometry node set up. If you want to learn how to do that, just put a comment down below and I'll try and make it happen. The other thing I did in this landscape render is I made a mountain, and if you want to learn how to make that, there's a video right here that will show you. Thank you so much for watching, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next video.